Hello. To close out the year, I wanted to make a tutorial that I feel might help get people more engagement in the next year and beyond. Some of you might not remember this, but when Twitter was in its early and better years, we were allowed to connect to it through its API and make posts using other services. So when we were going live on Twitch or whatever, we could have a bot create a tweet that would let people know we were live. And it would even provide a link to your stream that you could click and it would play the stream right there in the timeline. Well, those days are long gone, as are the days of Twitter being anything other than a billionaire bitch boy's personal sounding board where toxicity reigns supreme and connection has fallen by the wayside. But out of those ashes, of the burning trash heap, a new platform is rising with way better tools for growth, connection, and moderation. It's called Blue Sky. I started an account with them last year and hated the site, so I deleted the account almost immediately and completely forgot about the place. <laughs> but recently I rejoined and I have to say I am rather happy with the improvements and changes that have been made. Anyway, Blue Sky allows us to use their API to post things to our skylines via bots much like Twitter used to. And Tame has taken all of the hard work into his own hands and given us every tool we need to make perfectly composed skeets to advertise ourselves on our skylines. Yes, those are real terms. I am not making them up and you will learn to love them. Now, to get ourselves started with this whole endeavor, we need three things. First, you need to have a Blue Sky account. If you don't, I don't know how you plan to post there. Good boy, son. Second, you need to have StreamerBot installed. If you don't, well, you can't use it to make posts to Blue Sky. Third, you're going to need the series of actions from Tommy that you can import and find documentation on at the link down below. I am fairly sure that you can set up your own Blue Sky account, so I will not be walking you through that. Same with StreamerBot, and if you do need help setting StreamerBot up, I do have a video on the basics of that. Once you have both of those things set up, we are going to follow the link in the description down below, which will take us to this web page. Scroll down a bit until you see the import code and then copy that using the copy button to the right of the code when you hover over it. There are very clear written instructions here, so if you hate the sound of my voice and my stupid face, you can turn off this video and go it alone. Good luck and have fun. For those of you sticking around, once you have that code copied, you need to open StreamerBot. And at the top, click the import button. Paste the string into the top box and then click import at the bottom. It will import this list of actions that we are going to go through one by one right about after these messages from our sponsor. Buy my merch. Okay, welcome back. We're going to go through each of these actions in order so we shouldn't get too lost along the way. The first and most important action is credentials. In here, you need to add in your Blue Sky username and password. I cannot show you mine because, well, then you could connect to my account and post on my behalf and I just, I, I don't trust you like that. So just listen carefully and follow along. Click the credentials action in the first folder titled login information. You have two set arguments. The first one is where you put your username. The username it requires is your handle on Blue Sky with bsky.social at the end of it. This is because the actual username shown on your account can be changed whenever you want using these actions or the website, but the handle will remain unaffected always. So just copy your full handle from Blue Sky and paste it into the value of the username set argument. Underneath that is where you enter your password. For this, we are going to create an app password inside of Blue Sky. So just open Blue Sky on your web browser, click settings, then click privacy and security, and finally click app passwords. 
Click the button to add an app password and name it StreamerBot. Now before we continue, copy and save this password somewhere secure on your hard drive. You can never open this up to copy it again. Never. You will have to create a new one. So make sure you have this saved somewhere in case you ever accidentally delete this action or need to recreate it. Cool? Good stuff, you legend. Now then, save the app password and go back into StreamerBot and paste that password into the value for the password set argument. Action number two is where we compose our skeet that will post when we go live. There are a lot of variations you can create in your text, so I will try to go through them slowly, but if you need to, you can read everything I'm saying on the documentation page under where it says features. I would suggest using Notepad to create your posts because they are held to the character limitations of Blue Sky and you can't see how many characters you have used in the set argument. So if you go over, it, it won't post. It will also make it easier to edit if you want to post something different every time you go live. You can post a URL to your stream, which will show in the skeet. You can have it post an image or you can have it post a video. You cannot post all three. Using an image will negate the URL and using a video will negate the image. Here's how you compose your messages. Using two pipe symbols at the end of a sentence creates a line break. So if you want to have sentences separated, it would look like this. Currently live, pipe pipe, come hang out and have fun which would post looking like this. You can use two sets of twin pipes with a space between them to create a blank line. You can embed images from a URL link using braces, which would look like this. Or an image from a local file path using brackets, which would look like this. If you want to post a URL link to your stream, you put angled brackets at the beginning and end of it, which would look like this. If you don't have an image or a video posted, it will show your stream preview right in the post along with that URL which can be clicked on to view the stream. If you want to post a locally saved video to play in your message, you just take the file path and put that into your message with section symbols at the beginning and end. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but Mr. Bird, can I call you Mr. Bird? No. How do I type section symbols into a message? Well, that is a very good question, viewer. And the answer is you hold the Alt key and type 21 on your number pad. If you don't have a number pad because you are one of those people who buy TKL keyboards insisting you would never need the number pad, well, you were wrong. And it serves far more than as a secondary set of numbers. There are numeric codes for symbols, tons of them. But you know, since I'm awesome and everything, I'm leaving generic versions of each of these in the description down below so that you may copy and paste them into your notepad where you will be composing your messages. You are welcome. Next up is updating your profile picture. You don't have to do this, but if you wanted to, you could either choose an entirely different picture than your normal one, or make a copy of your usual profile picture and edit it in any software to put the word live over it. You can use either a URL to a picture on the line, online, or use a local file path. Whichever you choose, just paste the path into the set argument value. Display name. You can update your display name to anything you want, whenever you want. And I use this to change my name on Blue Sky to Jeefbird is currently live. While I am, well, live. Pretty simple. Updating your bio. Not sure why you would do this, but if you felt the need to, you could update your bio to whatever you want using this feature. Again, it's pretty simple and not much more to really explain here. Next up is updating your banner image. 
Much like the profile picture, you can have this update to a file path either on the line, online, or locally stored so that every time you go live, it changes. The last three things are pretty self-explanatory. Pin a post, unpin a post, delete a post. So if you want to pin your skeet about you being live and have the URL to it right at the top of your skyline for the duration of your stream, and then unpin it after, or even delete it all together, you can do all of that using these three things. Okay, the last thing before I wrap this up is a personal preference, which is to duplicate the update profile picture, display name, banner, and bio if you're going to use them. Edit the names to say two original after the update whatever part, and then put all of your originals in these. So your original name, banner, profile picture, bio, all of that. Then create two new actions in this list called live and revert so that when you go live, it will run the set of actions you choose to put in live. And then when your stream goes offline, it will revert all of your stuff back to the originals and run any other actions you choose. So the actions I have built include sub actions to add broadcaster information because I include my current game or category or whatever in my post as a variable. I delay posting by five seconds. It takes a screenshot of my streams starting soon scene, which I include in the post usually. Sometimes it's a URL when I'm feeling frisky. <laughs> it posts the skeet, pins the post, and updates my profile name all when I go live. Then when I take my stream offline, it will revert my profile name back, unpin the post, and that's it. If you would like to set up both of these actions as well, I have left a string in the description down below that you can import, and it will add the live and revert actions to your Blue Sky action list. All you have to do is add in any other actions that you want it to execute when you go live or offline. And that's it. Well, that wraps up the last video of the year, so allow me to say thank you to every single one of you who has watched me over the course of this year. Come by the live streams, said very nice things, and I hope to see you in the next year as well. You've truly made taking the time to make these videos worthwhile with all of your comments and appreciation posts and stopping by my live streams to say that you appreciate it. It really has meant a lot to me. So thank you very much. You are all amazing. If you found this video helpful and crazy awesome, please click the like button. And if you want even more tips, tricks, tutorials, weird ass conversations from me, stupid takes on nonsense, please consider clicking the subscribe button. If you have any questions regarding this or any of my other videos, please leave a comment, join the Discord, or for the quickest and most accurate help, pop into a live stream. I go live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next year, <laughs> take care, stay safe, and most of all, stay wonderful. <laughs>